gonna make a quick video on this golf car I'm trying to get running right now uh, so this is what I'm working with this is a easy go TXT PDS this is the 36 volt so these are 6 volt batteries um, the story is something I'm reading a lot online is change the batteries to some some ones that would take a charge and now it does not start at all I'm getting some weird stuff and I just want to go through this and make sure the read switch has already been bypassed. I just opened this up and it is straight red to white are connected together. There's no read switch, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, so what I have found is I'm getting 36 volts on this side of the solenoid. By the way, this is a brand new solenoid. It is a White Rogers 36 volt. Here is the original one that I took out of here. Um, I got a couple clicks out of this one, but I think I killed it. I think there's something going wrong with this. Um, I have the toe switch taken off of the cover right here, just so I don't have to have this cover in the way. Thanks. Um, so I'm getting 36 volts to this post, 36 volts on these posts, and three volts on this post. If I take my little heat gun right here, and it's gonna be real hard to see in there, but the resistor that's back there, that resistor right now is 180 degrees. So the resistor is getting super hot. 36 volts on this post and only three volts coming out of this post. Three volts to this post and three volts to this post. Um, let me get it. Let me flip the toe switch. So it's on toe right now. Let me go to run. Put that down carefully. Key is on. Forward's on. I'm getting voltage. The forward and reverse key is working. I'm going back and forth. Let me put it in forward. Push the gas. I am hearing the click underneath, but there is no click from the solenoid. I just took these jumper cables and I bridged this post to the other big post. So straight 36 volts across and it did not move at all. So I'm starting to think that this controller has died. The only thing I've noticed is that this pin is burnt on the toe switch, but it's still getting continuity. But this controller might be completely fried and it's probably worth getting it refurbished or if anyone knows what might be going on with this, any help would be appreciated. This is a 2005 EasyGo 36 volt PDS with the Curtis PMC on it. Uh, reed valve is bypassed. Um, that's about it. I think this is as much as I found right now. I clean contacts on the forward and reverse. The key works. Hmm. Anything you guys might recommend. I already have a brand new solenoid in here and it's... I got a couple clicks out of it, but I think something else is going on. Uh, let me show you this harness. I have watched a lot of YouTube videos and multimetered every one of these wires. No burnt ones. There's something in there? No. Yeah, that's about as much as I know about these. So if anyone has any advice, I'm all ears.